Hey everyone, my name is Mike and in this video, I'll show you an incredibly important thing you can do for your business, which is create a professional Instagram account. Now there are a lot of benefits to this from, first of all, getting access to billions of users on Instagram. Second of all, the ability to advertise on Instagram. Third, you actually have the ability to message other people to create brand deals, uh, find good advertising opportunities, just really talk to other people in your space. And fourth, but obviously not the last one here, is the ability to get the analytics and learn more about who your audience and your market actually is, including getting feedback from comments on your posts, uh, but more importantly, diving into the analytics tab, which you only have if you create a professional Instagram account. So in this video, I'll start off with the absolute basics, creating your account. We'll start off by creating a personal account. So if you already have one, don't worry, you can just continue from there. And then we'll go and convert that into a business or a creator account. I'll talk about what the differences are. And then we'll dive into all the benefits of having this as well as how to actually use them from content scheduling to posting on your laptop uh, to categorizing DMs and saving replies to doing a lot of other things like that. And then lastly, I'll talk about the next step. So with that being said, let's start off by downloading the app. If you have an Android or an iPhone, should be very easy to just find that in the app store. Just look up Instagram. If you don't have one, you could also use a tablet, uh, an iPad or a Galaxy tablet, or you could even use your laptop, but I'm gonna work off of my phone right here. So if you open up Instagram, I'm gonna start off by tapping on create new account on the bottom. We'll need to start off with our phone number. Of course, you could also sign up with your email and now it wants to know our name. So if you are running this as a business, so let's just say Santrell, uh, Santrell mugs, say we have like coffee mugs or something, we're gonna say next, uh, that's our name. Re you know, I think Instagram probably wants to use your actual name, but I've always just used the business name. A little bit easier when you're messaging people and things like that. Now we have to create a password. We can save our login information. We have to input our birthday. So for this one, don't like use the founding date of your business or whatever. Use your actual birthday because you have to be over a certain age to get certain restrictions lifted on Instagram. And then we can create a username. Right now, Santrail Mugs is available. So I am going to roll with that one for this video. But you could type in other usernames. If yours is not available, just keep guessing until you get it. Um, I recommend keeping it as short as possible. Don't have a lot of different little like dashes or anything else, any special characters in there. The shorter, the more easy it is uh, for people to read and easier for you to share it with other people. So you can have a sticker and say like, oh, you know, follow us on Instagram, Santro Mugs, nice short username. So I'm gonna go with that one. Now we have to agree to their policies, obviously open these and read them, learn about them. Uh, I already have done that. So I'm gonna say agree, and then it'll take us over to the next step. So now it's gonna ask us to add a profile picture for most businesses. This is probably going to be your logo. So I'm gonna add just a picture of, uh, let's say take photo. I'm just gonna take a photo of this mug just for the purposes of this video. Um, but obviously, you know, you'd have your logo saved somewhere on your phone and you'd be adding that. There we go, Santrell mugs. And you could actually, so let's go and edit that, crop that in a little bit more on what we want. So right there, you could crop it in if you need to, done. And we could share this as a post, just have our first post on there as well. Uh, I'm gonna say, sure, let's share it as a post. You can always delete it later. Obviously, posting is not permanent. So there we go. Welcome to Instagram. Let's start customizing your experience. I'm not gonna find friends. I'm not gonna do any of that right now. We're gonna skip all of that. We can find people later. Uh, it wants us to find people to follow. Again, this is a business. I'm not looking to follow the Kardashians here. It's gonna be just a distraction. And so I'm gonna skip all of that. I'm gonna turn notifications on for this. I'm using a Samsung phone right now, so it might look slightly different with the pop-ups if you have an iPhone or any other phone for that matter. But here we go, this is what Instagram looks like. This is in dark mode, which is what my phone is currently set to. Uh, so again, yours might be in light mode. I'll actually switch over to that right now. I think it's just a little easier to see when it's in light mode. Now, if you're not familiar with Instagram, essentially we have four tabs, five tabs across the bottom. This always changes, so I'm not gonna dive into that right now, but the first one's your home feed probably just a bunch of distractions for your business, not really that important. Second one is for searching, but also for browsing. The third one is for posting. So you can go here and post a, a photo, uh, a story, a reel, uh, live. You can go live if you want as well. And all of that's just across the bottom. So I'm gonna go back to where I was. Of course, the, the fourth one, that's Instagram Reels. If you haven't been distracted yet by Instagram, you will be if you go there. And the last one is our profile. So from our profile, let's actually upgrade this to a business profile. Now, what are the benefits to actually doing that? There are quite a few. Uh, the first one is that you will be able to connect to a Facebook business page, which means you can manage things on your Facebook. And I actually made a full video about how to make a Facebook business page. After this one, 
you can go and actually do that. Uh, the second benefit is that you do have the ability to see analytics when you upgrade. The third one is you will have different buttons. So you can see right now, let's just go to someone's profile. So if I just go to uh, Mike O'Brien, Mike O'Brien, Mike O'Brien, that's me right there. Uh, and this is going to be a professional account. You can see that we have the ability to follow, to message, or to contact. So if I've, that, that'll just send them over to my email, which normal po uh, profiles don't have the ability to do. Um, and so you get extra buttons there. Now, if I had, say, a restaurant, we could have like a booking button right there. We could do a lot of different things with those buttons. And I'll show you exactly what those actually are in a second. But if we go to someone else, just, I don't know who this guy is, but assuming uh, he is a regular non, okay, so there we go. So just a regular account. He's a private account. All you can do is follow. You don't have all those different buttons on there. Um, and so that is one of the main differences with your account. It does look different. You can add contact information and things like that. On top of that, you also have the ability to add paid partnerships. If you are, for example, a creator and you have an ad that somebody is running with you, like you know, a sponsored post, for example, you can have that label that says paid partnership. You can also have Instagram shopping. So if you're selling things on Shopify or just any online store for that matter, you can integrate with this. And so let's just go and find like, for example, um, if I just look up like Kardashian, Okay, and this is a great example right here. This is a post that tags products in it. And this is something you can do when you upgrade to a professional account. So you can just go and check out her shop, for example. It's a button right there. It'll bring you over to Instagram shops and you can buy things directly from here, which again, if you're selling things, it's just one less, uh, kind of a lower barrier of entry to get people to buy things from you. Okay, so going back to our profile, either you just created an account and you're exactly where I am, or you already have an account and you're looking to change that over to a professional account. If you are the second one, if you already have an account, there's one thing you need to make sure you do before converting it to a professional account. And that is making sure that you do not have a private account. So if we tap on the three bars in the top right and go into settings, we can tap on privacy and you wanna make sure that private account is toggled to off. You wanna make sure you do not have a private account. Professional accounts cannot be private. So if you need to have a private account, you need to have a personal account. But I think most businesses obviously wouldn't wanna be private. You're trying to find more people and everything like that. So we are keeping this as a public account. So let's go back to where we were in settings right here. And if we go down to account, we can go down to the bottom and it should say switch to professional account or add new professional account. Now we are switching this account to become a professional account and it will give us two different options. So if we tap on switch to professional account, it's gonna highlight some of the main things I already mentioned. We've got professional tools, uh, of course, like analytics, uh, as you can see right there, the ability to amplify or promote with ads and, and, and paid promotion and the uh, different contact options as well for call buttons and email buttons and stuff like that. If we tap on continue, it's gonna ask what best describes us and you can either choose to show this or, or not show this, but let's just say we are selling mugs. So uh, maybe like merchandise, merchant, uh, merchandise. Uh, we've got, let's see, what's related to that? Shopping and retail, probably the closest one. Uh, you could maybe say like, uh, we're just, I don't know. You could choose it for everyone else. Obviously you could be like comedy or whatever. Like there's all different things. And we can, like I said, choose to display it on the profile or not. If we're selling mugs and that's like all over our, our page, I don't think it's really necessary to say we're a shopping and retail business. But if you are a restaurant, maybe you wanna show that. So if you have a lot of like great pictures of food on your, on your page, you can have it, it says restaurant. Or otherwise, if you are a blogger, you can have that on your page as well. So it makes sense to show it sometimes. I'll show it here just so you can see what I mean. But I think a lot of businesses like this probably don't need to display that underneath their name. If we tap on done, it's gonna take a minute or two until it converts our account. Uh, and it's gonna actually ask if we want business or creator. Now there really are not a lot of differences between business and creator. And I think it should be pretty self-explanatory if you are like an individual and you are creating content, whether that is blogs, or if you are just like big on, on Twitter, you're trying to be a personality, uh, you have a YouTube channel, whatever it might be. If you are like a personal brand, usually that's a creator. If you are a, a, a business, um, that should be a lot more uh, really straightforward there as well. You're selling something or you're doing whatever. Now, so I'm going to proceed with a business account and now it wants to know our business email. I have our business phone number right there. All right, so now it wants to connect to Facebook. We're not gonna do this right now. We will do that in the next video where I show you how to make a Facebook business page. So we're just gonna tap on skip right here and it wants us to do 
five of these steps right here. So first of all, complete our profile. That's gonna be your bio, that's gonna be the link to your website, anything else you want. So let's tap on that, let's do that first. Business name is Santrell Mugs. Username staying the same, uh, pronouns is a business, that doesn't really make sense. And then the bio, we could just say we make the best, best mugs. And then you can add a new line and we can add like a little mug emoji or something like that. Or, you know, you got a lot of options, whatever you really wanna do here. Um, call us and then we can add a link as well so we can add a Facebook link or I'm gonna add an external link right here and this is going to be to Santrell's website okay we'll, we'll say and then we'll go back and so now we have our link we've got the name of it that's the profile so profile is complete there's step one the second one uh, get inspired I'm just gonna get out of this one this one's not important at all tap a little check mark uh, grow your audience. This one, again, not important. I'm not going to be inviting anybody, so we'll close out of that one. Introduce yourself. We already do have uh, some initial posts, and of course, you can explore the tools and the insights. I'm going to close out of this because the other things are not especially important. Um, those are just things that Instagram wants you to do to help you find success, but that's what I'm here for, so hopefully uh, you don't need to do that. Now, if we go to edit profile right here, that'll bring us back to where we were, but there are a couple different options now. So not only do we have on the top, the links, the bio, all this stuff like that, but we can also choose on our page if we wanna show the category. So remember we had the category there, um, and right now it is being displayed. So if you want to have it not displayed, uh, you can actually type in it again. So retail is what we were, retail, um, shipping and retail, and we can choose that toggle off. So we're gonna say the little check mark there. So no longer is it going to show it. And in addition to that, the contact options on the bottom that are displayed, we can choose if we wanna show our address, if we wanna show all of that or not. I'm gonna leave it on, assuming you have a physical address, that's really uh, the best way to do that. So I'm gonna tap a little check mark there and now our profile's pretty much all set up here. So that brings me into the next thing, which is really getting through a lot of those advantages of having a professional Instagram account. The first one being the analytics. So as you post things, so we have this post right here, you can tap on view insights and learn a lot more about that post. It'll show you how many accounts it reached, how many people engaged with it. Uh, so besides just seeing how many likes it got, you can really learn a lot more about who, you know, what the audience was like, how many of them actually went and uh, clicked on your link then. So that'll help you figure out, all right, which posts, like if you're posting about sales or if you're posting about cool recipes, which ones actually converted to people clicking on your link and therefore hopefully got you more sales or otherwise more leads, more business, whatever it is you're trying to do. In addition to seeing uh, by post the insights, you can actually go back and tap on the three, the three dots and go to insights over here. And this is kind of a, a profile wide insight. So if we tap on view insights, it'll show us on the entire uh, profile um, how many people viewed each story, each reel, each post, and within that, how many converted, what the demographics are, the age, uh, like where they're from, things like that, city, country, all of that. There's a lot of details you can learn just by digging through the analytics. Next up, if we tap on professional dashboard in the middle, that's not always going to be available right there. I'll show you how to get this elsewhere in settings. But within here, you can see that we have uh, ad tools, branded content, saved replies. Those are three things that you otherwise would not have if you did not have a professional account. So going through these, the first one, ad tools, you can promote any post you want. You can run ads that are dark posted so they're not actually shown on your, pro on your profile. And so for example, if we wanna choose like our top post, is this one right here, we can boost that one so we can choose that post and we can go through and actually promote that. I'm not gonna make a full video right now about um, advertising on Instagram. That's another video. If you wanna see a video about Instagram ads, leave a comment below and I will make that. Of course, we also have to connect this to the Facebook business page first. So follow the next video and then after that, I can make an ads video if you want. Branded content, of course, if you are um, a, a creator and, and you're running like a sponsored campaign, that would be a branded content thing. And of course, we could also go down to saved replies. And so if people are always messaging you and saying like, hey, uh, like what are your hours or something like that, you can always just create a new saved reply and whenever you're uh, talking to somebody, you can actually have that show up really easily instead of having like on your notepad, on your phone and, and then copying and pasting, it's just easier when it's integrated directly in here. Cause a lot of businesses get a lot of DMs and managing that effectively and efficiently is obviously super important. So as you can see right here, if we go over to messages, because I already followed myself on both accounts, anyone that you follow who follows you back will by default show up in the primary messages tab. So if we tap on that, you can see 
messages show up very normal here. Otherwise, anybody else would come into requests first. You can open up the request and then either approve it as primary or approve it as general or decline it or block them depending on what it is. Some requests are not properly filtered. I want to point that out. I get a lot of messages that end up in the hidden request. So even though you think this is a spam box, I recommend checking it frequently because Instagram is not perfect and doesn't always do the best job of filtering out real from scam comments. So that's a summary of the professional profile on Instagram, but this is definitely not the end of your journey. I wanna actually head over to my laptop and show you some really great tools that can bring your Instagram to the next level and really make it a lot easier to manage. So let's head over to my laptop. So if we go to Instagram.com, we can log in. Now this used to be really difficult to post from your laptop. It's actually incredibly easy to do now. Fortunately, Instagram added this feature. So if we simply tap on create on Instagram right here, once you sign in, you can select photos from your computer. But the advantage here of using your laptop or your desktop is that first of all, you can type a lot faster. So it's easier if you're creating a lot of posts and scheduling them, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, but it also is easier to edit photos on your laptop, in my opinion. And most importantly, we can use a tool called Canva to create different graphics, um, whether you want text on your photos, different types of little ads, things like that. So if we just go to, in a new tab, uh, centralmedia.com slash Canva, slash Canva, or you can click on the link in the description below. That'll take us over to a free tool. You can pay to upgrade if you want, but just the free tool in itself is really a fantastic tool for creating different posts for social, for making videos. You can have little animations on things. It's also great for making a, a new logo, a profile photo, anything for, I mean, the list goes on and on. This is a fantastic tool that I use absolutely all the time. So from Canva, let's go and create something new. We can create for social media and we can do an Instagram post, we can do an Instagram story, uh, you could you know, do whatever you want. I'm gonna go with the post right now. It's easier just to use the template for a square post right here. And I'll show you just really quickly, Canva has a lot of cool templates to start off with. So if you'd like something like this, you can then change it to your colors and, and it kind of comes with a carousel of three photos anyway, which I think is super useful. Or you can build it from scratch with the different elements they have. You can add different shapes, different graphics, different stickers, things that move around. Um, you can add photos and videos and audio and, and charts and there's a ton of stuff. It's super powerful and like I said, free to use. Um, but if you want to have some more advanced features, I, I mean, I upgraded, I think it's worth it, but you don't necessarily have to. So if we like, let's say this one right here, we can do that and you'll see that we should have uh, multiple different slides. So if we add a page, we've got our second one, we can click and drag that in and we can click and drag for our third one as well. And then very simply, you just click on any one of these and you can change the text. So um, our mug, mug collection, our mug collection, and you could just say, and if we wanna add a mug on here, we can go to elements and just type in mug, uh, type in mug, and it's gonna have a lot of different options. So maybe I want uh, something basic, maybe I want a photo, maybe, I, let's go with this one right here. So we're just gonna add a little mug, kind of like a 3D-ish uh, graphic there, some little clip art. And so we're gonna go with that right there. Now when you're done, you can say share, you can download this. So let's download um, just the first page is actually all I want because I didn't do all of them. So only the current page. So let's get rid of all of these, let's say page one, we'll say done, we'll download this. If we go back, uh, we can select photos from our computer, simply select that one, we'll say next. We can choose if we wanna have any adjustments or filters to this, it's not really necessary obviously. And then we can choose whatever we want with regards to the post. So this is a, is we just say this is a post. Uh, we can add a location if you want. So Philadelphia, Philadelphia. Uh, accessibility, you have options here if you wanna have alt text so it's easily, easily searchable uh, you know, through the platform. So you can say um, our central mug collection deal. And you can do things like hide the like count and the view count on this post, or you could turn off commenting as well, especially if it's something like controversial or if you don't feel like um, maybe like dealing with scammers in the comments, that would be a good way to do that. And then we can simply go and click on share and it'll be ready to go. Now, unfortunately, even though this is a great way to edit photos and use Canva and post one at a time, if you actually want to schedule photos, you will have to send those back over to your phone. And from your phone, you can go to Instagram. So let me just open up Instagram. And so if we want to, for example, schedule a post, we can go and, and, and uh, create a new, not story, not real, go over to post right there. So if I just wanna have like this photo right here, we can go over to next. Uh, we can go next again, we don't need any, anything on there. 
And of course, from here, this is where we can go down to advanced settings. And within the advanced settings, you can schedule this post. That's a great way to kind of get all your work done in, in one day and have all your posts set up for throughout the week. So you can be consistent and you don't have like a bunch of posts at once and then no posts. And, and also, so you don't have to go in every day and, and publish a draft and hope it didn't get deleted. So this is a cool feature that again, you only have if you upgrade uh, to a professional account, which we did in this video, which is great. So you can do this obviously for free. So if we want to schedule this one, say later today in an hour, we can do that. And once again, we can turn off commenting, uh, hide the, the view count, things like that, add alt text if you want. And in addition, as you might also notice right here, you have more features when publishing or posting from your phone, the ability to tag people, the ability to add a message button. Right now there is going to be a message button on there. So we'll just say a little, hit the little green check mark and that is going to be published in one hour. Okay, so that's a crash course on how to make a professional Instagram profile. The next steps now, before you go and create a lot of content, is actually to go over to my next video, I'll show you right here, and that will help you make a Facebook business page. Once you connect the two, you'll be able to promote posts, run ads, uh, manage all your DMs from one location on there, on your laptop or your desktop, and share posts between the two of them. There's a lot of benefits to connecting that, and that should definitely be your next step. And if you enjoyed the video, Consider liking and subscribing. I'm Michael Bryan. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.